Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to week two of Ramadan Arts and Crafts. Today we're going to do some string art. So this is the kit which should be in your um, Muslim space box. And it is, we're going to go ahead and open it up right now and we talk about what's in here. So you're going to have about four items in here. So you should have uh, a ball of yarn, a plastic needle, and two plates. You have a large and a small. So in addition, on the Muslim Space website, I'm going to be uploading a file, which will have a moon and a star. And parents, if you can go ahead and print that out and cut it out. So I have already pre-cut my moon and star. So I have them just the moon and the star. And the first thing we're gonna do is trace them onto these plates. So parents will need a little bit of advanced prep from you guys, unless you want your kiddos to do this, which is perfectly fine. So the star is gonna be on the smaller of the two plates and you'll just set it kind of center-ish and trace that and then go ahead and cut it out. Same thing with the moon, center it sort of center-ish and you'll cut that out. Now to save time, um, we don't need to watch me cutting, so I have already pre-cut mine. So here's what they look like once they have been cut out. So there's a hole in the middle where there's a moon or a star. In addition to the items in the box, we do ask that parents, you obviously need scissors to cut that out or an exacto, up to you. Um, I've also gotten out a simple hole punch, like a one hole punch if you have one. If you don't um, have a hole punch that's perfectly fine, then maybe just grab a push pin or something. What you'll need to do is we're going to make a series of holes around each of these things that we just cut. So I've started, you can see I've started on the moon. I've made three little holes with my hole punch. So I'm going to go ahead and continue that while we are online. So you want them to be kind of equal distance-ish and don't keep them too close to the uh, to the hole that you cut for the moon itself, but it doesn't have to be too far. Just So just go around this moon, making holes as you go. Mine doesn't have a protective um, cover. So if you happen to see little dots flying, that's what's going on. So you can make as many or as few as you want. This is going to be, if you have younger kids, I'd probably maybe do fewer because this is the holes that they're going to use to actually string the art. If they get stuck, just pop them right out. And then make sure you do one right at the at tip of each edge of the moon. Oh, my hole punch got stuck. So I'll go ahead and start back around and then I'll come around there. So we'll demonstrate with one and then we can actually just show you the end result with the other um, if you'd like, or we can actually walk through it. But once you get the idea, then you'll just be going straight. Now, the kids can do this in a pattern or even random. I think it actually looks really good either way. Um, just a fun way, something to decorate and give them a project to do. My desk is slowly getting covered with little dots. I'll go ahead and upload two different versions of the file. One will have like kind of an idea of where I put the dots. That way, if you want to follow that, and otherwise you could just do it randomly. I don't do random very well. Okay, so you can see I finished that up. I've got a series of holes all around. I'm gonna clean up my desk a little bit and then we'll get, move on to the next. Part. All right, so this um, twine, the yarn is very neatly put together. Thank you, Muslim Space, for that. So here we go. I'm going to put my string my needle one more time. If it starts to unravel, you can always put a small piece of tape at the end of your um, at the end of your thread and start it that way. Um, it'll just cover up the end of it and then stick it through. So I'm going to do a little bit more strategically my second time around. Just go back and forth across, and then it would, it'll. Just keep pulling through.
No, I didn't count out the holes. So there's no like rhyme or reason to how it's being done. It's literally just random. But that's kind of fun too, because then each person's will look completely unique. So now in this case, I've gotten to where I only have a little bit of yarn left. That's fine. I'll just push it through here and pull it through. I'm going to go ahead and just tape it on the back. And then I'll start up a new piece. So yes, one more item you will need parents is just some scotch tape, regular tape, anything. Just to you know, put a little piece and stick it in place. So now you see kind of what I'm getting to. I'm covering it up. Um, that way I was planning on going back over it once I'm done, but let me string this up to the other end of it. You can cut it if you'd like, if it's too much for your kids to man it, to handle, that's not a big deal. So now I'm back at the original starting point. I'll just keep going back over it. Now this time I didn't cut it, so I'm going to have to go through quite a bit each time. A little more time consuming, but it's okay. If you like what you're seeing, you can easily do this with any additional number of plates if you wanted to like make a whole series. Um, just it's very simple. These are literally just paper plates um, that you can buy from anywhere, or maybe you just have at home. They don't have to be decorative, they can even just be plain paper plates. You're gonna make them look really nice when they're all done. And you can get as colorful as you like, kiddos, if you have different color yarn at home. You're going to do two at the same time. So want to make sure you don't, or just be careful of knots because they are annoying to get out of the yarn. And it'll be, the yarn came out. That's why it's very easy to put it back in. Hope well, everybody's having a nice Ramadan. You're in your second week now. First 10 days flew by, didn't it? I don't know where you are, but where we are, or where I am, we just had spring break last week, and I think spring break Ramadan is amazing. The next few years, we'll have spring break during Ramadan, at least a part of it. And see, now I've managed to knot it. You just work through the knot real slowly, and it should just pop right out. See, there you go. You want it to be kind of tight as you go through, not super tight, but just the word is taut where it's not uh, really loose. Okay, so now I've covered up the majority of it and I have extra holes left over. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start going from one end over to the other, the other way to cover up that in the middle. Let's see, do I like that one? Now, if you don't like where you put it, you can always just come back through in the front. I'm kind of pre-planning and saying, maybe that's not the right spot for me. Let's go right here. You can't really mess up. It's going to be your unique creation. Whatever makes you happy.
So the only thing I want to be wary of is I don't want to, it to go outside of the moon, like the hole in the middle. So now it's going to be where it's a lot more random, just um, covering up that gap. Oops, got stuck on my drill finger. But they literally can go any way that makes you happy. If you don't like it, you can always take it apart and redo it. I've been known to do projects multiple times because I'm not happy with the end result. So you see what we're getting at? You've got some, some nice crisscross, just kind of a random pattern, and you're covering up that hole. And in the end, you'll have a beautiful piece of string art. So you're going to do the exact same thing with the star. You'll cut out the star and make some holes around it. Um, probably the easiest way is one on each end of the stars and maybe about three on each of the, um, what are they called, triangles inside. And that would give you enough holes and then um, just start covering them up. So in my case, you do want to, if possible, cover up all the holes that you have. Um, it will just look better in the end. Because you see, I don't really have much of a moon shape up here. So I'm going to go back over it. You can also just go from the, you know, a couple of next to each other. They don't have to cross all the way over. Let's see how that I'm getting a really nice shape. Let me show you it a little bit more closely. See how there's like, you can see it crossing over in the middle. It just looks, it just looks so pretty. I'm just doing this to finish up all the holes because I still have one more that doesn't have anything in it. And I want them all to have at least one string going through them. And with that, I am done. So you see that nice crisscrossy shape I was able to achieve. And it's literally just from going side to side. And now that I'm done, I'm just going to cut that off about right here, put a piece of tape and... I have a nice decoration. Thank you so much. And if you do want to see a final visual of the star, I will post it as well um, on the Muslim Space website. Thank you.